Hello everybody. Today we have a British typewriter, a Barlock. It's another of the 300 typewriters and calculators we will review. Barlock typewriters were originally invented in the US by Charles Spiro, a great typewriter pioneer who had uh, apprenticed in his uh, father's watchmaker's shop in New York. He was fascinated by a Remington typewriter, and uh, at the end of the uh, 19th century, he started uh, patenting and producing his typewriters. Around uh, the beginning of the last century, these uh, typewriters uh, were sold uh, at the Royal Barlock uh, in England. In their advertisings, uh, they insisted very much about uh, this typewriter being uh, a British product, uh, and uh, it was uh, quite uh, successful in England. At the beginning of the uh, 19th uh, century, they said it uh, had been sold uh, more uh, fa than uh, 50,000, uh, a big number. You see, printed here, by appointment uh, of His Majesty King George V, with the symbol of a British crown, with the lion and the unicorn. This is the royal warrant of appointment. It's uh, granted as a mark of recognition to companies who have regularly supplied goods to the British crown. And uh, here uh, in the back uh, we see the old British uh, Barlock manufactured in Nottingham, England by Barlock, 1925, company, proprietors, John Jardine Limited. 1925 is not the year of production of uh, this uh, typewriter, it's the year of establishment of the company. Looking at the serial number 386659, we know the typewriter, it's a supermodel 19, and the year of production is 1939. The Barlock name derives from the original invention of Charles Spyro. It was a system of alignment of the tie bars with a row of vertical pins in front of the platen to reduce uh, the clashing of the typewriter bars. But uh, it was in the US models uh, before uh, 1900. You see now, in this uh, British model, the bars are already standard, but uh, it uh, maintained uh, the Barlock name. There is a two-color ribbon with the original covers. You can write uh, red uh, or black, uh, and you can select uh, the color uh, with uh, this lever on the side. The backspace uh, is uh, on the left. Usually now you find it on the right. In the number there are the 1 and the 0, and it's nice because often in all typewriters you have to use the A and O instead. Every button has a label with the letter, number or symbol, protected by a little circular glass. There is also the at, so you could also send mails. Of course not, at those times the at was used instead of writing next to something, or for example 10 apples at 10 dollars, meaning 10 apples at the cost of 10 dollars. Another interesting feature is the tabulator. The Barlock was the first typewriter to have the tabulator back in 1995. You set the tabulation position 
with uh, these uh, sliders uh, in the back of the carriage. Then, uh, when you press uh, these buttons, uh, the carriage stop in the positions uh, you set up with the sliders. This is the interline. One, two, or three spaces. With uh, this lever, you can move freely the carriage uh, despite the interline positions. With uh, this lever, you free the sheet uh, in the carriage. These levers uh, on the side uh, let you move uh, the carriage uh, back and forth. In the back, uh, there are the margin sliders. You can set it uh, moving along the rod uh, like this. Sometimes is before we use the margin, the bed and the bayou are next to the end of the line. If you want to bypass the margin, there is this button, the margin release, and you can write after the margin, but the margin is still set up. With uh, these uh, two levers, uh, you can easily remove uh, the roller for cleaning uh, or maintenance. After this, uh, you can uh, put it uh, back again. After so many time, uh, it's still uh, working very well. The roller still move uh, the sheet uh, perfectly. Let's uh, try to write something. British uh, engineers uh, did a very good job. Also, it's uh, completely mechanic, so zero emissions, no electricity cost. Maybe we will have to start again using these uh, typewriters. Many thanks for watching, have a nice day.